Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'll be discussing how to improve your success rate when trading by using multiple time frame analysis, which is an incredibly important topic so you don't want to miss this. I find most traders utilise multi time frame confluence wrong, so today we're going to look at how to do it the right way, so without further ado, let's get into today's video. So, probably the best place to start is looking at what multi time frame confluence actually is. Multi time frame confluence is simply looking at multiple time frames and seeing if they all suggest the same bias. For example, if you looked at the one hour, four hour, and daily chart and they all suggested a buy trade, this would be multi time frame confluence. If the one hour and daily suggested a buy trade but the four hour suggested a sell trade, this would not be a multi time frame confluence. The reason that we use multi time frame confluence is that in the majority of cases, the longer term trend is dominant. Therefore, if you're seeing an uptrend in the longer term time frames, chances are you reverse the downside you're seeing on the one minute time frame is going to be pretty short lived. In order to have multi time frame confluence, you want to assess high time frames and look for the dominant trend. For example, if you've seen a long term downtrend on the monthly, weekly, and daily time frames, when you drop down the H1, H4 charts, you also want to see a downtrend represented by price, or you should be at least looking to only take short positions. A good example of the latter is when you're attempting to trade a counter trend line break. You're looking at shorting a market that appears to have just broken the counter trend uptrend, which is visible on the one hour chart. And you have a time frame confluence as the asset is in a downtrend on the daily, weekly, and monthly. However, if some of your time frames show a conflict in bias, this doesn't actually mean you shouldn't enter any trades. It means that you need to be aware that you're going against the longer term trend and you may be caught up by the dominant move. It's important to detail in your trading plan which time frames you'll consult when looking at the bigger picture of what price is doing. When using discretionary systems, I will always start looking at the charts with a top down approach. First, looking at the monthly and weekly time frames to see if I can identify a dominant trend, as well as any levels where I think price gravitates to on a regular basis. I'll then drop onto my daily time frame and do the same, drawing the daily trend and the daily levels, adjust my weekly levels if I need to to slightly improve the accuracy as well. Next, I look at the hourly and hourly time frames for entering positions. My general preferred setup of choice will involve a higher time frame confluence that aligns with my lower time frame bias, which will allow me to enter the setup knowing that the dominant trend is supporting the other technicals of the trade. Of course, if backtesting is a simple mechanical system, my time frame confluence is often less of an issue. Instead, I would have to use directional bias, which is something we'll discuss in an upcoming video. So there you have it guys, the ins and outs of multi time frame confluence. I hope you found this episode useful and if you have, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all of the episodes that we have yet to release in the 365 Days of Forex. Cheers guys and I'll see you in the next one.